So there they are again. Uh, they're going quite fast. As you can see, the, the tower is flexing. I didn't take into account the horizontal uh, load that these things were going to have. And you can tell one generator in the left. It depends on where the wind is coming. One will uh, hide the wind from the other. So next weekend, we're going to bring that tower down. I'm going to add another two or three feet to one of those to get it out of the airflow, the turbulent airflow from the other one. And I'm going to get steel cables to the elbows of those pipes and tie them down to the corners of my shed to keep that tower from flexing anymore. Uh, I just don't, I just don't like that flexing at all. So I'm going to get rid of it and I'm just going to use cables uh, to do that with. Going very, very fast. These uh, Winmax 1 kilowatt turbines are pretty awesome, but you can see that flexing in the tower is uh, not something that I uh, not something that I like. So I'm gonna get, eliminate that problem, and then eventually I'm gonna put uh, in about a month. As soon as I find the gin pole clamps, I will add a third turbine, but a smaller one, one of the. Uh, uh, PMAs from Windblue with uh, the uh, fast uh, blades, the Raptor blades that uh, you can get from uh, Missouri Wind and Solar, and uh, that that's a pretty good setup. I wish uh, I had one of the Missouri Wind and Solar one kilowatt PMAs to test because uh, they actually look pretty darn good. But uh, this is what I have, and these are actually working excellently, so no complaints here. Anyways, thanks for watching and. Uh, Y'all take care. There's the amp meter going. Just keeps fluctuating up and down. But uh, you'll see it. Uh, there it goes. It goes to 22. Whoa, 36 amps. Uh, 40 amps. And uh, the wind is only gusting up, according to the weather channel, to 17 miles an hour. So uh, it's not even hitting its full potential. These uh, turbines are actually rated at 26 miles an hour. So by the time you get that high, uh, we'll be pulling some serious amps. Uh, I may have to eventually change this amp meter to something higher than 50 amps when we get a 80 or 100 amp. But I like the granularity of this one as far as uh, showing me what's going on. And uh, it's not that often that we get those high winds in here anyway. So this is more, more of an average of what I can expect to see in this area. Uh, so this is not too bad. You can see that inverter, the 200 watt inverter is really going fast. Uh, it's really cooking along pretty well. And the other one just kind of stuck in there going, going its merry way, but going very slowly. And I'm going to see what I can do about that. So let's try something here. I just go, went ahead and unplugged the uh, power from uh, the bottom inverter. And I hooked up a kilowatt meter to the line here. And we can see the top one, which is the only one that's connected. It's only putting out 18, 17 watts. So there's definitely a defective unit that I have to replace. I'll definitely be ordering one today. Then the bottom one is here, and let's go ahead and plug it in and see what happens when this thing starts cranking out the juice. So I plugged it in. We can see immediately starts moving up. It's 52, 64, 76, 89, 102, and it keeps climbing, and it's still going up. And hopefully that'll stabilize about 250 watts. That's about, yep, it's about 250 watts. So that's actually working pretty good for the bottom one, but the top one is defective. That one's bad. Gotta replace that, and that one's good. Uh, and this meter's still going up pretty high. And, uh, Here's my wife, Darley, who just came in. She's hiding right now. She doesn't want to be in the video, but that's okay.
I'll sneak her in the video sooner or later. And uh, settling down, but it's gusting up here and there. So it'll get up there. There he goes. So not a bad setup, but you need some uh, change, especially to the tower, and then get one on top of the other one, and then we'll get the Empress to go a lot harder than that, because then I'll have the full power of both of them instead of just one. Ten amps. There we go. Got a better angle, so there's not so much glare on it. And let's see how they're doing outside. There they are. Their wind is kind of changing on us, looks like. Getting a little turbulent. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. There she goes. There she goes. She's been going up to 40. And she's been averaging, I guess, 15, 20 amps or so. So, anyway, it's all good. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care.